So today I want to talk about reactive declarations and the tick. That's right. Uh, these are somewhat obscure topics in Svelte programming, but uh, I think they are very important. And uh, depending on your situation, you might run into them and they might give you a little bit of trouble. Uh, before we get into tick, I want to talk about reactive declarations. So what are reactive declarations? Uh, so DOM in Svelte is automatically reactive. It reacts to your changes in JavaScript variables, right? But what if you wanted JavaScript to react to JavaScript variable changes? Well, let me explain what I mean by that. So here's a, let me, I have this uh, classic hello world. I'm gonna change this variable name to a variable called counter or count, count equal to zero, let's say, right? And then I am displaying count equal to um, the value count. So count is shown as zero, no big deal. Now, um, what if uh, I had a second variable uh, that was called uh, double count. Let double count equal to two times count, right? So now count is double. Let's uh, have a second heading which displays double count. So double count is equal to double count. Well, it doesn't really matter, count is zero, so double of that is also zero. If I make it four, of course, then double count. As you can see, it got doubled. It works fine, but that's not very interesting. What if count was incrementing once every second, which we can achieve by uh, setting something like set interval, and every 1,000 milliseconds, Here's the callback, and the callback is count plus plus. So now, as you can see, count is incrementing, but double count is not incrementing at all. Uh, why? Because this variable called double underscore count is not incrementing, it's not doubling. It's not reacting to count doubling. So before I fix that, I want to fix uh, what I've done wrong in set interval. It should it's going to create the interval, it's never going to clear it. So uh, the right way to do this is I import on mount from Svelte and then add an on mount callback. And the callback is that we set the interval, we save that interval const interval equal to, and then we return a an on destroy callback, which is uh, clear interval interval. So this way, on mount we will create the set the interval, and then on unmount or on destroy we will clear it. So all this is fine. But we still have the problem that double count is not doubling every time count doubles. This is, our expectation is that, well, if the DOM reacts to every change in count, why is double count not reacting to it? The reason is that DOM is reactive automatically. If you want to make JavaScript react to changes in the uh, state, then you have to do a reactive declaration. And the reactive declaration is where you simply put dollar sign semicolon in front of. So dollar sign semicolon is a label. It will basically make whatever follows it, it will make that a, a depend sorry, react to change in the dependent variable. The so dependent variable is count here. And double count will simply react to every change in count. Now, as you can see, count and double count uh, are exactly the way you would expect. Every time count increments, double count increments by two because it's double of count. 
So this is what a reactive declaration does. It brings react the the DOM reactivity is automatic, but then reactive declaration brings reactivity to JavaScript. So that's part one of this presentation. Second part now is what if you wanted to display um, the value of count. So watch this. Here we are incrementing count. Let's put this in a in a block, right? So here's the count being displayed, and sorry, not displayed. I'm being incremented. Let's display console dot log, and we say let's display count and double count, and you'll see the problem. So here, okay, there is a little bit of problem. Let me copy, reload. And paste. Okay, so, okay, what's going on? Yeah, so here, you see the problem when count is one, double count is zero. When count is two, double count is two. When count is three, double count is four. When count is four, double count is six. Do you see the problem there? Double count is not really double of count. Why is that? Um, so let me explain the issue here. Count is incrementing, let's say from one to two. Double count should also go from two to four, but it's not. It continues to show the previous value of double count. Eventually, when it hits this part, it will double. But at the moment, after it has incremented count, it is not, without in double, uh, incrementing or updating double count, it simply is displaying the value of count. And that is a problem. Why is it not doubling the value of double count? Why is it not updating the value of double count? Well, the reason is it has incremented count and then it prints, console logs it without executing this. What if we wanted to wanted the reactive statement to execute? And the answer is tick. In, these are asynchronous things. So this runs and this runs right one after the other. So those two are synchronous. But this is asynchronous. It runs uh, in a after a tick has executed. What is a tick? Tick is a synchronization mechanism. So if you import tick from Svelte, and then if you await await for a tick, then well, of course, it's not going to work. It's it says you cannot await for anything unless it's an asynchronous function. So let, we have to make this callback, the interval callback, async. All right, now that we have made it async, watch what happened here. Count is one, double count is two. Count is two, double count is four, and so on and so forth. And if we had printed that without the await, then the numbers will be incorrect. See, now the double count is, is behind by one update, as you can see. But as soon as we start awaiting a tick, which means we start synchronizing, now count and double count are in sync. That is because count was incremented. We awaited a tick, which means we waited for this, all the reactivity to happen, all the reactive assignments, reactive declarations, as well as any updates here. Everything happens. And then once all that is finished, then we are console logging. So this is how and why you might need to use tick. You may need to use tick every time your statement number one modifies the state of Svelte. And statement number two is counting on all the reactive updates to happen before statement number two should happen. 
If that is the case, then you must await on tick to cause the synchronization to happen. So DOM is automatically reactive. Uh, reactive declaration with dollar sign colon makes JavaScript reactive, but the reaction is not synchronous. To synchronize on all the reactive updates to fully finish, you have to await on tick and that synchronizes your subsequent code with reactive updates. So I hope you learned something new. Uh, these uh, uh, reactive uh, updates, both in DOM as well as in JavaScript, they are performed only after a full a tick is finished. So in, in if you are counting on the reactive updates to finish, then you should await on tick. All right, stay curious and I will see you in the next video.